which leads into segmental arteries that spread out. Then they go up between the pyramids, and we call them interlobar arteries there. Interlobar arteries are in between the lobes, which are the pyramids. Then they turn into arcuate arteries, and you can see why, because they're arc-shaped. Each arcuate artery gives off a number of these, which can be either called cortical radiate arteries or interlobular arteries. Don't confuse interlobular with interlobar. Oh. Mm -hmm. So then the interlobulars create the glomeruli. See all those little red spheres? And those would be drained into peritubular capillaries as well as the vasorecta, you know, vasorecta. And then it drains into an interlobular vein. They only show one on this whole kidney, but there would be a huge number of them. That's an interlobular vein. This is an arcuate vein. The arcuate veins give off interlobar veins, just like the artery, right? Interlobar. It's in between the lobes of the pyramids. Those join up with segmental veins, and the segmental veins then join together to create the renal vein, and you're out of there.